Hello friends, today we will be studying about the chapter language of chemistry. First we have to get the idea of symbols which is actually the basic of chemistry. Now in this picture you can see the different drawings. These drawings are actually nothing but the symbols used by the ancient people to discuss their way of living in the caves. Similarly, now in this language of ancient Egyptian it has been written in hieroglyphic writing on the walls or on the leaves. Now, here the different scripts of Chinese or Indus or Harappan civilization is shown here that how they are using the different symbols to show their way of living, their lifestyle and so on. Now, we are having different alphabets in different languages. Now the difference is there is actually how we pronounce it and how we are writing it. Now here you can see it P or F is written in different ways in different languages and so on. Next is this picture which is showing the different road symbols. Actually you can see in the left hand corner the first picture depicts men at work. So instead of writing so big sentence, it can be represented so easily with this small picture. Now you may have seen these road symbols frequently when you travel along the city or on the highways. Another example is given to you, the SMS, which we generally say nowadays, send me an SMS. Now what does this SMS stands for? This SMS stands for short message service now at the exam time we write at the end of every page pto so that the teacher should turn the paper what does pto stands for that is please turn over same here in maths instead of writing n-u-m-b-e-r for each and every step we write n-o so we can say that it makes our work much more easier it is easy to recall and it is consuming less time. Now, here we will be seeing the different alphabets are pronounced and written in a proper way to form words. Now, if words are not arranged properly, it won't frame any correct sentence. In every language, a correct sentence should be framed to communicate or write properly. Same here, in chemistry if we see, we are using the different symbols to frame the proper formula. Though for writing or framing a proper formula, we have to learn the valencies, which will be discussed in the upcoming video. Now, if formula is written correctly, you can write a balance equation also properly in a balanced way. So from here, we can define symbol as nothing but an abbreviation used to denote the chemical elements. Symbol is actually one atom of an element and the element itself. Still now we are having 118 elements on this earth. Now here comes the famous chemist that is John Dalton. He was the first person to give the idea about symbols. He actually gave the idea of figurative symbols which actually includes the circles. Inside the circles there may be lines, there may be shaded portion or dots. For example you can see here hydrogen they are simply a circle and a dot in between. Carbon is totally shaded dot, a uh, shade, shaded circle. Same with here sulfur, a cross inside a circle. Azot means nitrogen which is having a vertical line inside the circle. Now actually when John Dalton was first giving the figurative symbols there he showed only of five elements that is hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon and sulfur. Now after that in the second list there was 20 elements and in third list there was 36 elements. As it was having figurative symbols 
and it was very difficult to remember as in circle how many dots or the line should be vertically straight or horizontally or slantingly it was not easy to remember so it was not in use for long next we are having here the next great scientist that is john jacob berzelius who first decided that the elements will be denoted by its first letter now you can see here that carbon which is c a r b o n here the first letter is c so the symbol is written as c hydrogen capital h oxygen capital o remember that when the symbol is written for the first letter it should be always in capital now here is a list of few elements which are shown whose symbol is given as the first letter of their name now we are having 118 elements so there may be two or more elements who are having the first letter same so for them we have taken the first two letters for example if we say hydrogen it is having the first letter h again if we say helium it is first letter is also h so show so just to avoid to confusion so the hydrogen is having the symbol h and helium is having the symbol h e now when we are writing the symbol h e h is capital and e is small same here if we go with carbon we will be writing c as a symbol whereas cobalt if we go with though it is starting with c but already as c was used as carbon so we have used the symbol co c capital o small these symbols were given based on their english names there are some symbols who are given with the name of their latin names as for example we can see here sodium sodium's latin name is natrium as the natrium n a t r i u m so the first two letters that is n and a capital n small a is used as its symbol same here goes with copper we write c o p p e r but the symbol is represented by c u which is coming from the latin word cuprum c u p r u m so the first two letter capital c and small u use is used is the symbol iron we write the symbol fe where f neither e is present in the word iron but it latin name we are getting now we will be seeing that some symbols doesn't follow any of the above rules whatever we have learned that means they are not using the first letter nor they are using the first two letters as their symbol for example if we say manganese the symbol is m n here we know the spelling of manganese is m a n g a n e s e so they are using the first and the third letter and representing as m n or the symbol of manganese same here we can go with some other examples like magnesium magnesium the symbol is mg and these are the symbols which are used in the english name of the element this can be applicable for the latin name also for example if we take suppose silver the latin name is argentum a r g e n t u m here also we will be seeing that the sim symbol of silver it is ag now we will be seeing that while writing the formula we should remember that the first letter should always be written in capital and the second letter should always be written in small so when we are writing the symbol we should be writing it correctly and perfectly to represent any of the element for example if we write let in a improper way then the let won't be any more let but it will be representing some other elements for example if we see the let symbol is pb 
P stands for phosphorus and B stands for boron if it is written separately. Now if we write the correct formula of lead that it should be written as capital P and small b and if not if it is written both in capitals then again we will say that it will represent two separate atoms one atom for phosphorus and one atom for boron. So we can say that the significance of symbol is that we can name any element by seeing the symbols and other than that we can say that the while seeing the symbols we can say it is one atom of element. So for remembering the symbols or the elements which is present in the periodic table the first 20 elements a short poetry has been given for you all. The poetry goes like this. Happy Henry leaves beside Boron Cottage near our friend Neely Nancy and Mankmelon, Silly Patrick stays close, Arthur kisses Carrie. Now here we can see that the symbols and the name of the elements can be picked up very easily. Here it goes. For example, happy. If we say the first letter is H. So we can say the first element is hydrogen. Second here if we go that is Henry. Henry is having H E first two letters which stands for helium. Then goes lives L I lithium. Then beside that is capital B and small e beryllium. Then goes boron capital B cottage first letter C stands for carbon near here also we will be seeing N stands for neon. R the first letter O which is very important gas oxygen. And it is the following also we can understand by the first letters or first two letters. The whole of the poetry is represented in a way so that you can understand the name of the elements which they are representing. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe my video and press the bell icon for new updates.